About 90% of wildfires are caused by humans, and despite repeated reminders, those numbers are increasing. All this week, our Environment Northwest team is covering the region to look at our wildfire risk, smoke dangers, and what it takes to recover after the flames are out. Today, meteorologist Leah Pizzetti looks into a spike in human-caused fires and the importance of everyone doing their part to make sure they don't start it in the first place. I'm standing in the burn scar of a 2022 fire near Ellensburg, dubbed the Vantage Highway Fire. Clues discovered right here are what helped investigators figure out what happened here and shed light on a big picture issue in the Northwest. Christine McCroskey proudly shows off her property. Figured we'd come around this way for a different view. In sync with her shadow is her pack of rescue dogs. They're usually off hunting mice. They think they're cats, I guess, I don't know. Critters are her closest neighbors here, just outside of Ellensburg. Because I could walk over the hills, run across jackrabbits, the miniature dwarf rabbits live out here. Her little slice of peaceful heaven quickly became hell on an August day in 2022. It was one of the worst days of my life by the end of it. Ultimately, more than 30,000 acres burned. It was dubbed the Vantage Highway Fire. Huge fire advantage right now. Department of Natural Resources Wildfire Communications Manager Ryan Rodrock was there the day the fire started. And so it's just a matter of footwork going up and down or along the ground until X marks the spot. He describes the process of investigating the cause, which starts immediately. Once they identify that general origin area, they will flag that off and treat it like an active investigation scene. In this case, they quickly got to the bottom of it. A line in the brush pointed to the clues. The general origin area is pretty obvious. You can see the delineation where the sagebrush essentially turns off. And then it was just a matter of determining what that specific ignition source was. And, and that got down to just good old fashioned investigative footwork of our investigators walking back and forth through the black until they were able to find that specific spot where there was a lit cigar on the ground. A story confirmed by Christine, whose vantage point for the Vantage Highway fire answered the burning question. I was up on an excavator and I was looking out towards the road. And I saw a car going really fast, which caught my attention. Um, and then I saw an explosion of flame. And this isn't unique. Washington's Lands Commissioner Hillary Franz says so far this year, there's already a 40% increase in fires compared to this time last year, a majority caused by people. Lit material coming out of vehicles, uh, that is the kind of negligent start that we see most often. Across the Northwest in states like Washington, Idaho and Oregon, a vast majority of wildfires are caused by humans, anywhere from 80 to 90 percent. And of those human caused wildfires, the top culprit is from debris burns that get out of hand. Plus, campfires getting out of hand is a huge issue. In addition to that, vehicles that drag chains or throw cigarettes out the window are a massive problem. Plus, mechanics issues, people doing work in fields like mowing or working with a chainsaw. These impacts still visible today. This is two years worth of recovery. Um, we should be seeing, you know, chest high sagebrush. Record hot summers recently only fueling the fire. Changes in the environment are playing a role in seeing more fire starts and occasionally larger fires. In 2023, for the first time ever, more fires started on the west side of the Cascades versus the east side, likely because of drought conditions and a lack of wildfire awareness from people. A little bit of prevention goes a long way. In the case of the Vantage Highway fire, they never found the driver responsible. But if they had, they would have held them financially accountable. It took about 11 days to get it fully contained. Uh, over 150 fire staff. Uh, at the end of the day, the fire burned over 30,000 acres uh, and uh, ended up costing the taxpayers of Washington over seven and a half million dollars. It's more than just numbers for Christine. It turned her heaven into hell. But these fires go up so fast, you can't stop them. You know, it's in an instant when that happens. So they plead. We all have, uh, I think, a responsibility to make sure that we aren't that spark. Asking for people to help protect this piece. This fire didn't have to happen. For Environment Northwest, 
I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti. We've seen how a wildfire can start and they can have a variety of impacts on the natural landscape. Sometimes they serve beneficial purposes for local plants, but other times they can be incredibly destructive. Next, we'll take you to the site of a 2022 wildfire in Idaho to show you how the landscape is recovering. And you can watch part four of our series tomorrow right here on the news at four. We'll be right back after this break.